Hello, my name is Teresa Kovlak and thanks for joining me. I am going to do a demo today using alcohol inks. The colors that I will be using are Stream Green, Crimson Red, Lime Jello, and I am going to put a little pink in. Wild Plum is the color. And those are all made by Ranger. This is going to be an abstract painting that I'm doing and showing you how to make circles or you can turn them into bubbles. I take my ink and I put it in a glass container with a little bit of alcohol and I'm just going to pour that on. And there's no right or wrong way. And a little bit of my yellow. And that beautiful red. We'll let that set for a second there. We can tip it a tiny bit. And just depending on the look that you're going for, you'll decide how you would like to do it. You know, just pull out your inks and have some fun. I'm going to dry this a little bit using a, a small heat gun. You can get this at your craft store. Now I don't want to dry it too much because I'm going to want to make my circles. I'm going to take a bowl and put it right about there. And we'll take a, another bowl put it right about there. And just look around what kind of glasses you got at home. These little shot glasses work great. These ones here are candle holders. And now I'm going to dry it just a little bit more. And you can see everything is starting to dry. I don't want my heat gun too close to the Yupo paper uh, because I don't want to warp it or melt it. But I am going to dry it a little bit more.
you can see this is bubbling out a little bit here it's because the ink is coming through from the other side the glass bowl that I'm using obviously isn't seated um, enough on there but that's okay don't fret it um, I do recommend working in a well ventilated area though Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up one of the glasses and each time I pull up one of the glasses I'm going to dry underneath it so you'll see that as I'm doing it. Now this one here was quite wet underneath, so I'm going to let it dry a little bit more. And I'm going to use both hands to pick up this glass bowl. And I can let some of that dry on its own. I'm going to come in with a fan brush and just kind of swoop some colors. Now I'm just swooping a little bit of that color off. Now you could just leave it dry on its own if you like it better like that. That's fine too. 
There's no right or wrong reason, no right or wrong way. Now, if I want to make these more into bubbles instead of circles, then you can come back with either a paintbrush or take the blending pen. And I take the blending pen and I just take a little color out so it would have the reflections. And if I want to keep it just going as circles, I can do that too. I can go through with my paintbrush and put circles down, or I can go through with a dripper and I could put circles down with this too. Let's see, let's go right, and let's get in here. And I can just drip that on to make smaller circles. But if I want the big ones, I really need to use a, um, a bowl and put that on there. If you don't have a blending pen, you can just do all this work with a paintbrush. Just dip into your ink, um, I'm sorry, your alcohol, just a tiny bit, and bring it on over. What I like about the blending pen is I can just keep going on it instead of having to dip back in every time so that's the nice thing about the blending pen and I'm just cleaning it off on my paper towel so I keep a clean tip This is that last little bubble that I made. It came out really nice, just a little guy. And you can even come in back with some paint and um, put more paint on it if you like. A little bit of the alcohol ink. But I kind of like it like it is. You see, I'm just picking up that reflection there.
Don't be afraid to try new things. It's a lot of fun. And you always can try something different. And on this bigger bubble, I'm going to take and use a paintbrush just because it is a lot bigger. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush into a little bit of alcohol. I'm going to take and tap it off on a paper towel. And I'm just going to bring in some bigger reflections. So the possibilities are endless with this. Oh, sorry, I got kitties are entertaining us today. So I'm just doing a little reflection in there. to help make our bubble pop. And what I could keep doing is keep adding highlights. If I wanted circles instead of the little bubbles, then what I would do is um, not put in all the highlights and I could just keep going with circles. And you can literally go circle on top of circle. So it's a lot of fun. Um, I hope you try it out. Again, my name is Teresa Kovlak and you can find me on Facebook or Instagram. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.